Isaiah, son of Amos, saw a vision concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the latter days, the mountain of the Lord shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all the nations shall flow to it. People shall come and say, let us go to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, so that he may teach his ways and help us to walk in his paths. The Lord will judge between the nations and people shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. O house of Jacob, let us walk in the light of the Lord. The Lord rejected his people, the house of Jacob. They are filled with customs from the east and with soothsayers who foretell and like the Philistines. They strike hands, they make pledges and agreements with aliens. And their land is full of silver and gold. There is no end to their treasures. Their land is full of horses and chariots and there is no end to that as well. And their land is also full of idols. They worship them and the common man is bowed down before them. Also the great man is brought low and humble himself. Therefore, O Lord, do not forgive them. Therefore, enter into the rock Hide yourself in the dust before the terror of the Lord. The proud looks of man shall be brought low and haughtiness of men shall be humbled. Our God, the Lord, alone shall be exalted in that day. For there shall be a day of the Lord of hosts against all who are proud and haughty and against all who are lifted up. They will be brought low. God's wrath will begin by coming down against the cedars of Lebanon which is in the west of the Jordan River and against that are high and lifted up the oaks of Bashan which is in the east of the Jordan River and against all the mountains, all high mountains and the hills that are lifted up. against every high tower
and every fenced wall. And against desirable imagery, which means ornament and luxury. The Bible says that then the loftiness of man shall be bowed down and haughtiness of men shall be brought low and the Lord alone will be exalted. Their idols shall pass away and they will be abolished and also against sheeps of Tarshish. The loftiness of man shall be bowed down and the haughtiness of men shall be brought low their idols shall utterly pass away and be abolished God alone will be exalted he deserves the glory and honor The stricken, deprived of all in which they had trusted, go into the caves of the rocks and into the holes of the earth from before the terror and dread of the Lord and from before the glory of His Majesty. When the Lord arises to shake mightily and terribly the earth. During that time, men shall cast away to the moles and to the bats, their idols of gold and silver, which they made for themselves to worship. Therefore, cease to trust in weak, frail, and dying man whose breath is just in his nostrils. <laughs> 